Darren here, and on today's episode of WOTC Academy, we are going to look at how to play the Tier 9 German Premium Medium Tank, the T55A. This tank can easily be considered and played the same as the Russian T54, but with some differences that could make the tank slightly better than its older Russian brother. So, let's get started. Now, the armor on the T-55A is pretty much the same as every other typical Russian medium, which means to say there's not much to say. The turret is pan-shaped, which will allow it to bounce some shots, especially the uh, lower tier, lower caliber shots. But because of the uh, slightly sloped weak point on top, that is the top of the turret, I would not expect uh, higher caliber guns, um, premium high cal guns, high caliber guns firing premium rounds or um, a hesh shots from a Death Star to uh, bounce off of the tank, especially with that weak point on top. Of course, the hull expectedly will not bounce much unless at an extreme angle and as usual, sides and rear and top of the tank are flat and or weak and susceptible to HE and artillery. Now, moving on to mobility, in terms of said mobility, the T-55A is pretty mobile with a forward speed of 50 km per hour and a reverse speed of 20 km per hour. This means you'll have no trouble getting to where you need to go or reverse out of danger if need be. As for the 12% chance of fire, this means you can effectively forego running a fire extinguisher if you wish to do so. As for the gun on the 55A, it's like any other Russian medium, um, as it has a 100mm gun, and this particular gun is very similar to the famous Heat 54 gun, the D10 T2C, found on the T54. Um, this is a gun that it has bad standard rounds, but amazing heat rounds. On the T-55A, on the other hand, uh, this has a similar German production gun, uh, but the standard rounds have 20 millimeters of more penetration compared to the T-54's gun. The T-55A's gun also has a pretty good base accuracy of 0.3, a decent base reload time of 6.56 seconds, and a good base aim time of 2 seconds. This means that you will be able to aim at and hit your target with relative ease. As for the very Russian gun depression of 5 degrees and a horrible elevation of 14.25 degrees, you will definitely have trouble fighting in and around ridgelines and hills. Now, how do you set up the T-55A? Well, in terms of consumables, I recommend running 25 AP, 15 heat, and 3 HE, but if the standard rounds don't cut it for you you could always run a higher volume or full loadout of heat if you wish i also run a repair kit a first aid kit and either a fire extinguisher food or gas so really the choice is yours for that third slot for equipment i run advanced loader advanced optics and gun stabilizer to improve the gun handling and vision overall uh, mostly because i am trying to three market but of course when I am done doing that, I will probably be switching the advanced optics for improved ventilation, which is another option available to you for this tank. For the commander setup, I recommend running the jack of all trades medium setup I mentioned in my commander video. But for the sake of this video, the recommended skills uh, are in the following in no particular order. Born leader, rapid loading, steady aim, Six Sense, Track Mechanic, Situational Awareness, Snapshot, Run and Gun, and Marked Target. Of course, you can set up the commander to suit your preferences and playstyle. Finally, how do you play the T-55A? Well, this is going to be somewhat of a short explanation. Even though the T-55A is in the German nation, it still very much plays like a T-54 with the famous heat gun. When top tier, you can very much be aggressive against other tanks so long as you are playing smart and your tank's strengths and not putting yourself in dangerous situations like being caught out alone. 
When mid-tier, I find myself still capable of being aggressive, but when top-tier heavily armored vehicles arrive, I recommend pulling back to a frontline support role and let your top-tier tanks take the brunt of the uh, opposing uh, force while you take advantage of any openings or enemies caught reloading and poke out, fire at them, and roll back into cover while they are reloading or aiming at something else. Fighting on hilly terrain is dangerous. It can be done by using the reverse slope method to get more gun depression. I did make a video on this, by the way. Uh, but in general, I recommend avoiding fighting in such terrain unless you are being completely ignored by the enemy team, as you will have to profile yourself on the ridge of a hill in order to shoot down on an enemy on the other side. Another thing to note is if you load full heat in the 55A, you will almost always lose money unless you are using a silver booster. I just figured that I would make that aware to people because, again, it plays very similar like the famous Heat 54, which is known for being a full heat loadout uh, vehicle. So just because it's premium, do not expect to make money firing all premium in this vehicle. That does it for this overview. Now let's take a look at some gameplay. So here we are on a cliff, uh, T-55A, <laughs> of course. Unfortunately, the thing that I do have to point out is that this is captured uh, and recorded using the replay feature. I was not really expecting to put a video together at the time while I was making this, so I was not set up to record, nor was I actively recording when this game occurred. Um, so, unfortunately, to capture it and use it, I needed to go back and uh, use the replay method. I had a couple other replays of ace tankers in this vehicle, and but it was all had to be recorded the same way, because I was not set up to do it. Um, anyway, so I take the, the shortcut up, just because I want to see if the vehicle had the uh, climbing ability, the terrain resistance, the ability, basically the ability to climb that. It does, we saw it. Uh, intercept a light tank, put a shot in, and he goes and disappears over a cliff. Um, and here I am in a, for the most part, a hull down position that is also able to get cross shots on anyone approaching the actual mountain hill thing. So I apologize that you're not going to be able to see exactly what I'm aiming at or anything like that. Um, I do my best when I was rec actually recording this replay to try and make it easier, so I apologize. But other than this, basically all I'm doing is uh, just shooting at any tank that appears uh, available for me to shoot. I would like to also mention that while you do not see it um, very clearly because of the replay feature, I was actively trying to three mark this vehicle still am by the way so i have completely loaded a full heat load out i have the money to be able to do that and i am running premium consumables of a repair kit a first aid kit and food in order to help me so though that, that little information is important i felt to share there so again i'm just i was in a very hull down position no one was really able to get a solid shot on me, and I was able to just peek out at my leisure and put shots into tanks as they exposed themselves, and I managed to take care of um, a, a tank or two. Feeling pretty aggressive, as we can see on the line on the mini map there in the lower right hand corner, that we have essentially taken. Uh, we have map dominance, and we have pushed the enemy team into their little spawn side of the uh, of their of the map there. Um, so again, here I am just trying to, at, at this point, essentially I am farming, not a whole lot to really speak at the moment because I mean, these tanks are trying to get to cover. They're trying to get to a position where they can fight back. And here I am just on the side shooting them, <laughs> getting the pens. Um, and there are still some tanks trapped down there, but we're going to see here that I am able to. The accuracy does hold up, and I am able to get some relatively hard-to-hit uh, shots with this gun. Also, firing heat helps, <laughs> but uh, again, 
if you don't have the silver to just burn in this tank, um, I did recommend a standard round loadout. Um, because I'm trying to three market, I did not test it. I, net, you know, but a uh, colleague of mine, CC Petty 360, uh, that is his ammunition setup. So it is coming from a reliable source. So, yeah. Anyway, here, um, I was basically fighting on the rock. Uh, I did take a shot, and I was trying to find a place to where I could safely hit him without exposing myself. Um, wasn't really working. Heat is kind of a double-edged sword with this. Um, most of the time, I will get, you know, pens because I'm not aiming at spaced armor. But then there's times where it just I hit nothing with spaced armor, and no matter what I do, I won't be able to pen. Now, we can't really rely on the minimap a whole lot, but uh, at the time, I did notice a 257 coming around on the side of the mountain that everyone completely ignored. So, yeah, because everyone else is focused on trying to farm uh, the tanks at the enemy's base, really the only one situated to deal with the 257 that had the situational awareness was myself. So, that's basically what you see. The gun, again, with the heat, is being able to hold up significantly well and almost Every single shot that I have is penning the tank. Um, again, it, it's the the gun. It play, the tank it plays very much like a a T fifty four with the famous heat gun. I can't really point out any significant play style differences. I loaded in full heat, and I played it exactly like the heat fifty four, and we can see exactly from this same result here. I did take a shot from the 257 because he decided to be aggressive and push. A s smart move to put pressure on me, but unfortunately, because I had the DPM on my side, he ended up paying for it um, and obviously got knocked out of the battle here. But again, I'm still at like half health, so I'm still okay. I can still take a shot. Now, seeing that we're not getting anywhere, just sitting here on the ridge hoping someone spots... Um, I decide I'm going to flank around on the other side, hopefully spot something, and hopefully get shots on the tanks that are hiding behind the rocks from my teammates, but will be completely open to myself. Now, I'm taking a little bit of a wider approach, simply because I don't want to accidentally get spotted by any of the TDs sitting there. I don't know where they are, so it's kind of important to not get spotted out in the open like that. We do spot another TD. As we can see, I actually was auto-aiming with this, and the accuracy is holding up relatively nicely here. Again, heat doing a pretty good job. Um, and, again, bouncing some rounds. Um, but, again, in most cases, especially like at a close, closer in quarters uh, engagement, the armor is probably not going to hold up. If I was facing a Yeageru who happened to be firing premium, that round probably would have penned. So we've now reached the spot that I was aiming to get at here. Unfortunately, I will get detected um, trying to uh, spot an enemy here. I was actually shooting that heavy, t trying to shoot at that heavy tank there. That's when I get lit up, and um, I do manage to avoid getting uh, shots, thankfully. So I'm going to reposition again to get better shots on to the uh, on to the. Um, the VK-45. Oh, Jesus, I really don't like German tanks with their naming. But anyway, um, that, I mean, again, I'm pretty safe here. The VK-45, uh, nothing is able to really withstand the heat rounds. The gun is just very, very good, especially with a full premium loadout. I'm not trying to, you are not going to make money with this vehicle firing all premium. I have not, and I don't even really care to load silver boosts in this vehicle i've got plenty of silver so i can get away with this but this is where i'm aggressive now uh su-130 peaked out while i was making an aggressive play and um you know i ducked right to get below his gun depression and uh my teammates because he was spotted and he was focused on me i managed to you know get him caught out and he was taken care of here uh did spot already as well because i'm farther up than my teammates and um Know, managed to take him out now their td is still hidden somewhere this is this is the play that i decided to make here td is, based on my teammates composition td is definitely hiding straight ahead of me so i'm going to use the carcass of the su-130 and the little gap between its ammo rack and its turret 
to try and get hauled down and I'm going to use it and push the SU-130 to get closer to the enemy to where I can spot them while having pretty much I'm making mobile cover right here. This is my riot shield. The TD does get spotted, I believe, by the teammate or myself. I didn't really care at the moment and we uh, managed to take care of them. But this was a very, very, very good game. We can see I have over 9,000 uh, damage dealt with um, pl a plethora of kills. Overall, this was a very, very good game in the T-55A, one that you know I will maybe get once in a blue moon. But that does it for today's video. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe. But until next time, this has been Darren of Watsi Academy.